caregivers, care receivers, and aging adults. Today we are here to talk about negative thinking and the cycle of worry. How many of you out there are worried today or anxious about something? How many of you have been worried this week? Stay with me for the caregiving chat. I'm Pamela Wilson. I help caregivers and aging adults solve caregiving problems, and my website is PamelaDWilson.com. Today I've been reviewing a lot of the comments in the chat, and I thank all of you for giving your comments and for sharing your personal stories. In the chat this week, there's been a lot of comments about worry and stress, which is very common with caregiving. And I thank you for sharing these thoughts because it's important that we are able to talk about them. I wanna share just some background on worry and some of the worry that is in the chats and everything. Sometimes we get into this spiral and we catastrophize things. And so I'll give you an example. Let's say that I find this lump on my arm and I think, oh my gosh, I am so sure that this lump on my arm is cancer and I'm going to go to the doctor and I'm going to die. The other one is to over categorize or over generalize. And so the example there is no one will help me. Everyone is mean. Everyone is unhelpful. The next is an all or nothing thinking, well, oh my gosh, if I don't do that, this will happen. Or this has to happen, otherwise everything will be a total disaster. I had a client who was very nervous and very anxious, and he worried constantly. And all of this worry really had a negative effect on his health and his well-being. And he couldn't figure out how to stop. And I've been in situations over the year where I worry about things. I still worry about things. And so for me, when I worry, what I try to do is tell myself that I just really can't afford a negative thought. Negative thought comes into my mind and I send it away. I also try to choose my thoughts. So if my brain starts going off on negative thinking or complaining about something, I stop myself. And I just say, you know, Pamela, that you got to stop, not right. Let's replace that with a positive thought. Let's replace that with something. And then also, instead of worrying, think about what can be done to change a situation. What can be done to make a situation better? There are many people in the chat, and I have the same belief that prayers work, that hope works. And so I thank all of the people in the chat who have commented today and this week, sending prayers to caregivers, encouraging caregivers to believe in whatever type of spiritual belief they have. It's so beneficial. If we can replace worry with a positive action, maybe just a distraction, read a book, go for a walk, take a drive, call a friend that can be enough to distract us from that worry and then it can lift our mood so that we can then take the next step to what can we do about this how can we solve it because there really are solutions for everything i do believe that and i have always had a very positive attitude that somehow if i try if i work at things things will work out so the message for the caregivers today is try to think positively. Don't think about what you should do. Think about what you can do. Don't overgeneralize. Don't think, ah, everybody's mean. Nobody is going to help me. Don't catastrophize. Don't think because you have a lump on your arm, you have cancer. It's probably not it. It could be a bug bite. But think positively. In this video, as in all of my videos, there is an article about how to reduce negative thoughts and worry and loneliness. Part of that is to become involved in a caregiving support group. So for me, there are two options. I offer a free monthly support group the first Saturday of every month. You can go to my website, it's PamelaDWilson.com and you can register there. The other is through Facebook, I have a caregiving support group, it's called The Caregiving Trap. You can search for it and join. And if you're worried about caregiving situations, 
There's a library on my website. You can sign up for my newsletter. Plenty of information, and it's helpful information. I'm Pamela Wilson. I help caregivers and aging adults solve caregiving problems. Take the next step to thinking positively and reducing worry, and I will see you in another video.